Now my drawing is pretty much complete. So I started with just basic lines, just did some offsets, some trims, worked with the right layers, and I put in all my information onto the right layers, trimmed some lines, uh, showed my doors and windows opening. And then the next I went on with adding more detail like the furniture, then I added some dimensions, I added the text. Now again you have to understand this is more of a design package, it's not a construction package. So it won't have a lot of detail as construction packages do. This mainly explains the design, mostly explains uh, the spaces that you have and that's what we do this design package for. So this is the floor plan. If you see everything is done on the right layer. So I could really quickly hide, unhide layers, freeze layers, and isolate layers. For example, if I wanted to get rid of the furniture right now, I would do L-A-Y-O-F-F -F for layer off, hit enter, and I would just click on one of the layers and hit, click on the furniture layer and hit enter right now the furniture doesn't go off why because I'm currently on the furniture layer so that's why it doesn't turn it off so let's try turning off maybe the doors layers so L A Y O F F enter I'll click on the door and boom all the doors are gone in one second I can even turn it off L A Y O F F enter I'll turn off maybe the dimension layer right now and all my dimension is gone I can turn off that layer, I could turn off the walls layer if I wanted, I could turn off the windows layer. So you see, now it makes it real easy for me to continue with my drawing and add more detail. Why? Because I have less information and it's easier to work with now. Okay, when I need to get everything back, all I need to do is do L-A-Y-O-N for layer on and everything comes back the next second. I could even isolate a particular layer by typing LAY ISO and click on the layer and hit enter. Now what it does it isolates just the wall layer and gets rid of everything else so I could work just with my walls. If I want to get my drawing back I will type LAY UN ISO okay so that gets everything back. So these uh, few layer commands help me work with my drawing more efficiently, more faster and uh, in a more detailed way so I can avoid making mistakes. So uh, you would have to continue and make everything in detail. Make sure when you are working with the dimensions, you are on the dimensions layer. The dimensions over here I have set to annotative dimensioning. Now if you don't know what annotative dimensioning is, you can go to my tutorial which is called annotative dimensioning and then you can understand how annotative dimensioning works. Okay, so everything is done with. There's one more thing that I need to do is put my drawing onto a certain reference point, like in this case this is 0, 0, 0. So this is where I would put my drawing at a certain reference point. Now why would I need this is when I'm working with other floors as well as when I'm working with XREFs and I import my first floor drawing into the XREF I have to make sure that I import it with a particular or an exact reference point so that everything overlaps right in the right position. So how would I do that? What I do is start with a line, enter, from uh, first point I type 0, comma, 0, enter. So you see what it did? It started from 0, comma, 0 and to where? I don't care. I'm just going to click somewhere and hit escape. So now I'm going to move all my drawing from that reference point to 0, comma, 0, comma zero okay so next time when I xref this drawing in any other drawing in maybe the second floor it will come in in the exact location right here 
so when I'm working with the second floor I make sure even the second floor all the walls line with respect to that point now again when I'm working with x rays where I am working with the first floor electrical plan, first floor mechanical plan, first floor plumbing plan. I want to make sure when I import the x ref it falls into the right place. So that's why I always use my 0, 0, 0, 0 as a reference for my drawing. Okay, so I will go now to the layout space. Now the layout space looks empty. I see there are a couple of viewports here. So I'm going to go in one of those and try to zoom out and get my drawing. Now sometimes you cannot zoom out uh, the whole uh, the whole paper zooms as well. It's just because your viewport is locked. So make sure your viewport is not locked. Again, this has been covered in the previous classes where I talk about paper space and model space. So you could go and refer to those tutorials. So now when I go in, I am going to give it a scale. In this case, I give it a quarter scale and my drawing is set to go for a print on quarter scale. Now I have another viewport over here, which I'm going to move in and make it part of my drawing where I'm going to put the detail of uh, maybe my kitchen. So I'm going to go in. I have to go into the other one so I make sure I'm going to the right place I'll just move it out right now I'll double click in now I'm going to look for the kitchen which is right there I'm going to give it a scale of 1 is to 2 or a half scale okay it's a little bit big for my kitchen but I can always adjust the paper the viewport and make it a little bigger okay so now what happened here is I put in the same kitchen drawing onto the same sheet that I have to avoid space and uh, and put two drawings into one or two details into one going to make I'm gonna try to fit it in I know it's gonna overlap but I know that you understand the idea, right? The idea behind it. I'm going to make it even more smaller. Okay. So there goes my kitchen. So my kitchen is on the scale of uh, one is two, one is uh, of a half scale, and my main drawing is on the scale of what main drawing is on the scale of one fourth okay if I go click in the kitchen half scale if I go in my main drawing the quarter scale but the good thing about annotative text is everything if you see my dimensions the dimension remain the same size you see dimension remains the same size so that's where you would be using multiple viewports with the help of using annotative text okay so I hope you understood this the next one I will be working with is making uh, the second floor plan again the second floor plan works exactly the same it's just I have a second floor going on top of this location so I'll start up with that and I hope you could start working making floor plans on your own uh, it's not a big deal it's not tough again it's just basic commands like lines and uh, trim and offset and copy and mirror that's all you need to know to make the most complicated uh, floor plan or drawing there is now when it comes to working with floor plans you have to make sure that uh, your text is not overlapping with the dimension either the dimension is overlapping with your drawing lines because that might cause a confusion for someone who is going to read your drawing for example this dimension over here uh, it overlaps with the table so which is not a good thing so when you're doing it you have to make sure that your dimensions and everything is clear and easy to read and understand okay 
So everything is done in this drawing, starting with the doors, windows, walls. I have some kitchen furniture that you can get from, uh, as I said, if you go to insert and go to the design center, you will find all of these templates over there. Okay. Uh, then the doors and windows symbol, these were drawn, like if you see, the windows are with a symbol with a circle and a letter inside and the doors are with a square and a number inside. Now again, this has a reference onto your drawing somewhere where it goes into the doors and window schedule where you could read the actual size, the material and the make of the doors. Okay. So I hope you understood this tutorial, uh, stay tuned for the second floor, elevations, roof plans, foundation plan coming up next. Thank you.